In this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload a video onto YouTube, plus how you can give your video its best possible start. I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Every Bit Helps. I really hope you enjoyed this video today, and if you do then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also, please do head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk where a related blog post is also available. If you're new to YouTube and you want to get started, here's how you upload a video. So we're over on youtube.com, I'm over on the homepage, and I'm assuming that you've got an account. And what you want to do is click onto the little plus icon in the top right hand corner here. Then what we're going to do is click onto upload a video. Now you'll see that once I've clicked onto that link, I've actually been taken across to YouTube Studio, which is the newer interface. For those of you who have uploaded in the past, you can revert back to its classic mode. However, I'm not so sure how long this is going to be available for. But from here, you can simply select your file to upload, or you can drag and drop your file, which is what I'm going to do now. And as you can see, your video will be private until you publish it. Now, it's worth mentioning that it's sometimes recommended that when you're uploading your video to have your keywords in the file name of that video. And keywords are what help people find your videos. Now, you'll now be prompted through a series of screens like a wizard for what you need to do to upload your video. So you'll need to do things like add in your details, your title and your description. It'll take you through a monetization screen. The different video elements you can add plus your visibility. And it will show your progress in the bottom of the screen here, just how everything's actually processing. Now this wizard is pretty good for you when you're actually starting. However, I personally find it easier to do all of this in a larger screen, but I'm just gonna wait for this to process. Now that's uploading, the next thing you wanna do is consider how you're gonna promote your video. A lot of its success is out of your hands and down to the YouTube algorithms, or if people are actually searching for your topic. If it's news related, people may be searching for it right now. Or if you're like me, you may be creating evergreen content, which may not be hot immediately, but over time it will gather momentum and still be valid in the next year or two, and you'll get more views over time. And it can all be quite daunting at the start, and there's a lot of things that you need to do to give your video the best chance. But there's a free tool that's really good and helps with all of this, which is called TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a simple web browser extension that you can quickly download for free for Chrome, Firefox, iPhone, and Android, and it integrates directly into YouTube. And what it does, it gives you real-time suggestions on your videos, keywords, rankings, best practices, and everything you need to do to grow. And what I'll do is I'll put a link in the summary below. Now, in terms of their pricing, there are some paid licenses which will unlock additional features, but the free version may be perfect for you if you're on a budget and you want to try it and see if it helps you. Plus, the good thing about their licenses is that you can cancel at any time and you're not tied in. As you can see over on the Chrome Web Store, it's pretty popular with three quarters of a million users using TubeBuddy, and it's highly rated with over 4.5 stars over 7,000 different types of reviews. Now, I personally have a paid version, and the reason why that is is because I really like things like suggested tags, keyword explorers, and tag lists. But in the past, I have used a free version, and there are also ways that you can get your free trial extended if you want to. And as you can see from the list here, there are so much things that TubeBuddy can do to help you. So what I'll maybe do is in the future, I'll do a more in-depth video about how the different features can help you. But for now, we're going to be focusing on the basics about getting your video uploaded. So what we'll do is head back to YouTube. And that video has now finished processing. So what I now want to do is set that as private and click on to done. And as you can see, I've now got a bigger screen that I can now work on in terms of my video details. The first thing you want to do is enter in a title. And it's important to have your keyword in the title. And this is a summary of what your video is all about and what might interest people to watch it. I'd personally recommend looking at your competitors to find similar titles and find options to see what actually being searched for. So what I'm going to do is head over to YouTube. And the video I've created is all around something called the Tor Browser. So what I'm going to do is type in Tor Browser into this section here. And what it'll do is show me all the different search results. So it gives me an idea of what I can include in my title. 
Now people will often search for the latest videos or the latest versions too, so within my title what it may be worth me doing is putting in the year and the version of this software. Now when it comes to your description, you want to make sure that your keywords are in the top line of your description. And you'll just enter in a more detailed description of what the video entails. And if there's anything you've spoken about in your video or referred to, you can put your links into here. Now this could be the likes of an affiliate link or a website link. And as you can see, my description is currently pre-populated with additional links that I use on every single one of my videos. And I'll show you how to create this a little bit later. So TubeBuddy gives you the opportunity to be able to create a thumbnail using their generator. So it'll help you through the different types of steps in terms of your background, layers and preview so that you can create one in here. Now your thumbnails are pretty important as the most appealing thumbnails will be what people will actually click on because unfortunately people will judge a book by its cover. However, there's also some free software called Canva.com. So over across on Canva.com, if I just type in the word thumb, you can see that Canva have a whole host of templates that will give you exact dimensions for your thumbnail so you can play around with these. And there are plenty of videos out there on YouTube for creating appealing thumbnails too, so it's worth doing some research. I'm just going to upload one that I've actually already created. Now one of the newer requirements within YouTube is the audience and if it's made for children. If there are age restrictions etc. So if your content is for children, you'll need to look into this in more depth. Then we have tags. Now tags is a big one and this is information about your video. YouTube give you some really good tools in here which are called tag tools and recommended tags. So under recommended tags first of all, you can actually click and add any of these into your video. Then under the tag tools you can do things like sort them. You can also copy your current list to a clipboard. So the reason why you may want to do this is if, for example, you have more than one video with similar content, just two different versions or a video for 2019 and 2020, well in here you can obviously copy this and then you can smooth those tags across onto another video to save you having to type them all out in the other video. You also have things like suggested tags. So this is pretty good, is what it'll do is it'll compare and suggest related keywords for your video. And you can simply click and tag these all in. It'll also do ones that are suggested for your channel as well. So those tools are really handy for your different types of tags. But what it's also worth doing is checking out your competition. So what we'll do is we'll go across to YouTube again. And if I keep in that Tor browser and if I type in 2019 and hit enter. And if I have a look at one of these with a lot of views. What TubeBuddy will do is it'll give me something called video lytics. Now this will give me a quick snapshot of how this video is performing in terms of the number of views, comments, likes and dislikes. It'll show me their SEO, their social and how their channel is performing. It also gives me their best practices in terms of what they've added into this video and what it'll do is it'll give me their tags and show them to me. What I can then do is click on to show search rankings. And in here it will then show me where the video ranks in terms of the YouTube search results. And what I can do from here is copy this, copy to my clipboard, and I can then paste in those tags. What I then may want to do at this point is click onto the sort button just to see if there's any duplicates in here, remove those duplicates and apply and close. And what we then have is we have our visibility on the right hand side here, but we're going to come back to that in a moment. What we're going to take a look at is playlists. So in here you can add playlists. Now a lot of my content is around tech, crypto and online privacy. So I create certain playlists or categories that relate to that content. You then have cards. So with cards you'll often hear people referring to checking out a video in the top right hand corner of their screen. These are known as cards. So if you're talking about a video that you've previously created, you can put a link to that video that people can then click onto. And there are other elements that you can create as well, such as channel, poll and link. Now TubeBuddy do give you a template as well that you can use and take a look through. You then have your end screens. So with end screens, at the end of your video you can suggest other videos that your viewers may be interested in. And again you can add other elements such as subscribing, channels or other links. Another really great feature of TubeBuddy is this best practices section at the bottom here. So this is almost like hints and tips that will help you to create the further detail for your video. So in here it's stating that I should have a title between 20 and 70 characters. I should share and get a like on Facebook. 
I should add more tags as it allow up to 500 tags when adding tags on YouTube, and I should add tags into my title. It'll also show me how many of my best practices I've actually completed. Now what we'll take a look at now is my more options. So in here you can do things like changing your languages, putting in a recording date, and you can put in locations and things like that. What it also allows you to do is enable or disable your comments and ratings. Now one thing to mention is that engagement will help with the algorithm on YouTube. So if you disable comments, it could potentially hinder the performance of your video. What you really wanna do is encourage discussion on your video. So make sure you add comments onto your videos and reply to people. What we're gonna do is take a look at monetization on the left-hand side here. Now, if this is your first video, you won't be able to use this, but over time, as the videos and views increase, you'll be able to earn money from your video. So you can switch on monetization at this point here, and you can put in the different types of ads, the locations of the ad videos, and it's also worth mentioning that when you have a video that is 10 minutes or more, you can add additional adverts into your video. What I'll just do is head over to our settings before we go ahead and publish this video. And if we go to upload defaults, in here is where I had that pre-populated description for links that I wanna use on all my different types of videos. So you can obviously go away, edit this section and click on to save. Now we'll just head back to our details. Then you have your visibility. So this is when you're ready to actually publish your video. So what you wanna do is you wanna set that to be public. And you can also set a schedule. So if you want this to be published on a specific date and time, you can set that in here as well. Then all you need to do is click on to done and hit save on your video. Now overall, this is just a video about the basics of uploading a video onto YouTube. So if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below and I may be able to create other videos about creating YouTube content again in the future. And I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you did then please give me a like hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at www.everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.